I think that compassion is when like you're like really kind to someone and like you include them in something. Um, so you would go up and talk to them or just play with them? You like try to ask them about themselves and you tell them a bit about you and you ask them if you've got anybody to play with, if you don't, you want to come play with me and my friends. We've got this bench when people can sit down, they've got no friends to play with and people would come up to them and say, do you want to play with me? And they start playing with each other and they include them in their games. If you were playing a game and then they trip up in something, you could um, stop and go back and help them. So like you can go and tell one of the teachers. You can maybe talk to them, chat, like help them. Maybe like say maybe a good memory that you've had with them. Um, maybe tell them a funny story that you've heard. Of. We do charity fundraising and we do um, charity and like the charity. And we do um, fundraisers for the people who don't have homes and stuff. And we also do, we're also doing shoe share in the food bank. So compassionate people don't get angry because of like, compassionate people are just friendly people. So if they lose their temper and over a friend, like that. Fr that friend that they've been helping might not be their friend anymore and they might think they're trying to be mean to them now, like they've helped them. And they don't lose their temper because they're just friendly with everybody, so they can't really lose their temper because they're friendly. We trust people because um, they're nice and they like, know that they're going to be nice. Compassionate people are good listeners because they, cause they go up to people and ask them their problems problems then they listen very carefully and they try to help people and they're always positive.